happy Star Wars Day. Good morning all and happy Star Wars Day. It is May the 4th or in other words, May the 4th be with you. So I'm really excited because honestly this is the first Star Wars Day that I've been in the fandom really. So I feel like it's a kind of a special day for me because it's the first time I get to experience all of this. So. Basically, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this video. It may just be a vlog style. It may end up being just kind of a showcase of my Ray cosplay. I've got some fun things planned for today. So we'll see what ends up in the video and what doesn't. Just for a little idea of what's going on, I have to get into Ray today because the princess company I work for, I also do Ray for them. And I will be doing a live stream for the kiddos Today, I'm really excited. We're gonna get some little Padawans in there and do some Jedi training. So that's gonna be really fun. And yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Uh, Rise of Skywalker is officially on Disney Plus today. So my roommate and I are gonna be watching that later. So it's gonna be a fun day. Let's go. Hey guys, in my bathroom, I'm gonna show you how I do my hair for Ray and all of that. I can't really see right now because I don't have my contacts in yet because I put Ray's brown contacts in and so I don't have my name and I'm kind of blind so I don't know. But I will say this, I love my new bathroom so much because I have a counter that I can actually put my tripod on and film stuff like this. So be prepared for more vlogs like this. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you how I do Ray's buns. So most of the time I watch YouTube tutorials for this when I learned it and also at KatsuCon when the lovely Savannah did my hair, I learned some tips and tricks from her. So this is just kind of an amalgamation of all of that. So I'm gonna show you what you need. First, I personally like to straighten my hair before I do it. So I'm gonna need a straightener and some heat protectant. And then for the actual buns, you're gonna need little clear elastics. I personally like these ones. I have no idea what brand they are because as you can see, I've ripped off all of the packaging, but they are thicker and also, ah, I'm dropping them. They're thicker and also um, have more of a stretch to them. And I find that that helps with my hair as opposed to smaller ones. And then of course, a lot of bobby pins. So, First thing you're gonna have to do is straighten your hair and I know you guys don't wanna watch me do that for 10 minutes, so I'll see you in a second. And three, two, there we go. My hair is all straightened. It's actually looking darker today than normal, but that works. So anyway, I'm probably gonna do a voiceover for the rest of this because I need to do this really fast or else my hair's not gonna cooperate. So I don't wanna take the time to talk. So cut to voiceover. So once I straighten my hair, usually I will just brush it back and make sure it will lay flat against my head. Then I'm gonna take my little elastic and make the first bun right at the top of my head. I'm also gonna pull out the two little face framing pieces that she has to make sure that they don't get tangled in the buns. to add the elastic. I'm going to put the elastic on three times around the ponytail, then fold the ponytail in half and wrap it around one more time. Now you're going to want to leave the little tail of your ponytail out for later. Then I'm going to continue with these steps down my head to make two more buns. I will say the middle one did not come out how I usually like them to come out but it was good for now, so we went with it. take the tail 
of your top bun and wrap it around the hair elastic to hide it. Then once all of the tail has been wrapped up, use your bobby pins to secure everything. And once again, repeat that step two more times. Then of course we gotta lock it all in with some hairspray. So slick that hair back and douse it with some hairspray. And since my flat iron is still a little warm, I am going to go over my face framing pieces one more time just to make sure they lay flat. There we go. I will open it. It wasn't my best time doing the buns, but they will work. So in celebration of Star Wars Day, I am having the Baby Yoda special, chicken nuggets and chocolate milk. So I'm trying to get rid of the chicken nuggets that are in my freezer. So, thought I'd go full Baby Yoda special with the chocolate milk. Oh look, we have a Porg! Hello! Say hi! Good girl! So, picking up on this vlog, I finished up my live stream for work. It was really, really fun. Um, the little kids were so great and we got pictures of the little crafts that they made and it was so cute and I'm really happy I did it. I was really nervous, but um, I'm really glad that I did it. I was focused a lot on making sure I kept my accent clear and consistent. So I still do need practice on that, but that will come in time. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really happy that it went over well. So I'm gonna get out of cosplay and um, there's so much hairspray in my hair. So I'm gonna take out my contacts and put my glasses on <laughs> so I can get these out of my eyes for a little bit and uh, take a shower and get all the hairspray out of my hair. So yeah. And then um, I'm just gonna be hanging out for the rest of the day. And then tonight, my roommate and I are going to watch The Rise of Skywalker. I haven't gotten to see it since it was in theaters. I didn't buy it on DVD because I don't have the rest of them on DVD so there wasn't really a point and I knew it was going to get on Disney Plus eventually so I waited patiently and I my thing is I really thought they would put it on earlier than May the 4th like why wouldn't they put it on May the 4th I'm still new to this so but anyway that's what we're doing I'll update you later so we just had our dinner we decided to order Cheesecake Factory and now we have the best part Oh God, I almost dropped it. The cheesecake. How is it? Good. <laughs> Cause that's your first time ever having that one, right? Is it good? Yeah, I don't know what the blue stuff. It's frosting. It's birthday cake frosting. Yeah. So now we are gonna sit down and watch the rise of Skywalker. Yay. <laughs> oh, the video ended. And so ends May the 4th. Uh, tomorrow is Revenge of the Fifth, <laughs> but it's also my mom's birthday tomorrow, so shout out to my mom. But anyway, I had a wonderful first May the 4th as part of the Star Wars fandom. I am very, very grateful to be a part of it, and I'm still new, and I'm still learning, but I'm having a really great time being here. And I, I look forward to many more cosplays and many more Star Wars days in the future. And that's ends the video for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comments down below how you spent your Star Wars day. And if you liked this video and wanna see more of this face, hit this big red subscribe button right down there and you can see new videos every week. I have three ways you can support me in my cosplay adventures. I have an Amazon wishlist, a Kofi, and a print shop, all linked in the description. So you can go check those out. And if you want to follow me on other social media, I have a Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, all linked down below. I'll see you guys next week, and may the force be with you, always.